part of the Rotex Flying and Safety Club uh, or organization of the new Rotex training syllabus that we're put, putting on. They, all the service centers are set up to uh, do this uh, do this type of instructions. And we start where you got the two strokes uh, maintenance course that we that we started with this past week was two day course of it, which covered all the complete uh, engine engine tear down all the way down to analyze the crank and put it back together carburetors ignition system uh, gearboxes. Uh, complete analysis of the whole engine, and that's part of the maintenance of a two-stroke engine. It, uh, if you'll pick up the maintenance manual and read it, uh, a two-stroke engine is supposed to be tore down and inspected at 150 hours or every five years, whichever comes first. So this program uh, allows the participants or shows them how, anyhow, to be able to, to do this maintenance program properly, the proper tools to use. Uh, in this situation, and we cover all the, a lot, of, just a lot of the stuff. We spend a lot of time on carburetion and jetting, and how, why you change jet, prop loading, and pretty, pretty con coverage of stuff. It's a two-day course, and there's a lot of stuff packed in it. Of this two-day course, there's a test that we give them the first day that they have. It's an open book test, 50 questions, and uh, that test just to look the answers and stuff up and find them takes uh, roughly about five hours and that's pretty much been the norm. It's an open book test and it just it, it allows the students to know how to get the information out of the books, where to work books to look for for different questions, to answer different questions and how to uh, uh, analyze different problems they have and when the maintenance schedule and stuff is on the engine and so forth like that. Now this program, is it a fairly new program or is it something Well, the, the this program, this will be the second year that this program is run on this uh, syllabus that's been developed by Rotex Flying and Club, uh, which Eric Tucker and uh, <clears throat> uh, is the basic design. It it is uh, approved by Rotex. It's a it's a syllabus that uh, we're we're as I mentioned, uh, have become an instructor for that uh, for the Rotex Flying and Safety Club. And we're furnished the material, the outlines, and the schedule, and the stuff that we have to cover. Uh, so it's it's a it's a very compact and well dressed uh, info, informational school, and gets a lot of hands on stuff in, in it. Now, there's a purpose though. In the last couple of years, we've got light sport, and this is part of the light sport uh, uh, program. Oh, absolutely. This uh, this program, fested in man, come come about mainly due to the fact of the light sport. Uh, you know, it, a lot of people don't understand when they fly in a light sport, whether it be experimental or uh, special light sport, especially the special light sport. If you will look at the manual and stuff, the, the, it has to, the maintenance and schedule on the engine has to be followed according to what Rotex says has to be done to it at a certain hour. So this course is designed around to be able to instruct those folks at different, at different levels to be able to do this type of maintenance on the light sport. Now, is it an actual hands-on thing where students are getting involved, where they're taking things apart and they're able to do torquing and stuff like that? Or is it they basically an instructional thing where they sit there and you feed no, the information? No, this, this course is, especially in a two-stroke, uh, the two-stroke is very, very hands-on. Uh, it starts out because of the maintenance on that two-stroke engine is a totally disassemble of the engine and reassemble. So we take it all the way down, set the crank out of it, inspect the crankshaft, and then reassemble with all new uh, parts and stuff back as the manual calls for. And do it in the same, same thing would be, it, it's the same process that you would do at the 300-hour time before overhaul to rebuild, a, rebuild a, that engine is what we do here in the uh, two-stroke course. Now, Ronnie, in the light sport category, you're going to be dealing with both single-place and two-place airplanes, experimental uh, light sport. Um, are you covering all of the engines in the that would fit into that category, or are you dealing just with the liquid cools? No, in the two-stroke two -stroke engines, we're covering the air-cooled 503, 404, similar to the 447. We actually take the 503 and disassemble it alongside the 582 engine. We disassemble those two engines because those are the two most popular engines uh, that, that we see out there, the 503 and the 582. The 582 is the only one that was approved ASTM to go into special light sport, so it's very critical on it to be able to take the course and 
you hadn't proven to maintain it, but the 503 uh, is also out there in the experimental, and for those uh, people that took their 16-hour course to be able to do the inspection on it, they have to take this course to be able to do the maintenance on it. There's a difference in doing just knowing how to just do the inspe basic inspection on the engine, but to do the maintenance on it, to disassemble and check and do all the normal maintenance on it, then they need to have to take this, uh, take this two-day course. Now, do you also get into troubleshooting and that type of thing to give people a, a better understanding of the engine uh, problems that we might run into? Oh, absolutely, Dave. We cover all the carburation stuff that we run problems in. We cover all the ignition. We go into the ignition, each component, how each component works in the series, uh, and, a, and a basic theory how to inspect that and start with the simple parts to check first and then go on into the engine to be able to determine what component is, is where the problem's at. So the ignition stuff is covered quite thoroughly in this course. Uh, it, it's, it's one of the main highlights that we spend a qu quite a bit of time on is ignition system. Now, as I walk in, also you have a, a press here. What was the purpose of the press, of course? Oh, on the press is when we got into the uh, into the gearbox. You know, we had we had examples of the different gearboxes that we have. A lot of people don't understand the difference between the A box, B box, C box, and the E box. So we have examples of that to show them, so they'll understand. And then, of course, we do this normal service on the B box. And on the B box, we go through the full disassemble of the basic engine to do the regular uh, shimming it up and setting the spring washers and stuff for the torque on the on the normal service on the B box or the A box. A and the B box is relatively the same gearbox. Now, is there material that uh, is supplied in the course? Oh, absolutely. In uh, we in the two-stroke course, you get the uh, opera get an operator's manual for all the two strokes. You get a maintenance manual, which gives you all the maintenance and shows you the maintenance schedule and all that stuff on the two-stroke. Plus, you get the repair manual, which is, shows you how to disassemble the water-cooled engine and, and maintenance and stuff on, on the water-cooled engine on the Rotex repair manual. Those manuals that uh, the, is what ones they get in school, and those are theirs to keep. They take those home. Is there an age limit, or is this a male thing, or do you have students of all ages? And we have percent? students from all ages. We have uh, ladies that come and take the course. You know, we all know that uh, there's a lot of ladies that like to fly and like get into this sport. Not as many as men, naturally, but we have younger people. Uh, some of the courses uh, that's coming next week in the four-stroke course, I got a couple of guys that's over 80 years old that's coming to go through the uh, the 912 course. So uh, it's not limited any 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 particular age limit, uh, as far as that goes, or any particular knowledge. I mean, it, you're, it's open for basically anybody that wants to come and go through the school. Location-wise, are you located somewhere where the motels and that are, are uh, available locally? Yes, we have uh, four local motels uh, that you can go in, uh, and that price different ranges from Holiday Inn Express down to the to the lesser expensive motels. All of them are pretty nice motels. Uh, of course, the Holiday Inn Express is the newest one we have in the area, uh, and naturally, it's more expensive, but. Uh, we also have room for if you've got a camper or want to come out, uh, uh, that we've got room for you to bring your motor home, your camper or your tent, or to accommodate you in just about most any way that you want to to, to come and share and, and, and have fun and learn at the same time. Now, how often do you run the course? I'd like to get it down to where we could probably have one about every three months. Uh, school. So if somebody wanted to get in contact with you, what's the easiest way to, to, to book into a course or get in contact with you? Uh, we've always got this uh, listed on our web page uh, on, on uh, South Mississippi uh, FlySMLA.com. Uh, that's our web page. It's also listed on the Rotex Flying and Safety Club. 